to the side and back. My name is Toki Uzuru, also known as Toki, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about intentions versus act and impact. But before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, dressings. Please like, share, subscribe, comment down any type of questions, comments, concerns that you have, or ideas for future videos. And that is all for now into the video. So for the past month or so, I have been diving headfirst into a bunch of different YouTube dramas that all happen to deal with one person. I will not say their name in this video because that is not the point of this video. But it had me thinking about the idea of intention versus impact. So originally this video was going to be that, intention versus impact. But then as I started thinking about everything that the person said they intended versus the actions they did and an impact that their actions had, which went against their words or what they said their intentions were. It had me thinking more about actions and the impact of said actions. In my previous video where I talked about intentions, I specifically said that intentions are important, but they are not everything. Example one, in the manga and anime Death Note, we do not acknowledge the Netflix adaptation. In both the manga and anime Death Note, the main character, Light Yagami, originally intends to use the Death Note that gives him godlike powers, at least when it comes to everyone else's life and lifespan, to punish criminals who he feels did not get the justice that they deserved. His full intentions were to rid the world of criminals and become the god of the new world. And he did do that. But of course, as people started connecting dots and realizing that all of these criminals were not dying out of weird circumstance, um, out of like health wise circumstances. He started noticing that they were catching on to someone is killing them, but how are they killing them? The rest of this example is like spoiler territory for both the manga and anime. So if you don't want to get spoiled from it, this is your warning and here's the time. Now, because of the fact that Light Yagami was put on a pedestal as like the smartest student in the school. He was given such praise. He thought, well, I'm intelligent enough. I should know what is classified as good and evil. But he had such a black and white viewpoint of good and evil. And with him having to deal with trying not to get caught by the police, eventually he starts allowing others to kill off those who are trying to catch him. And eventually, with that thought process of no one can catch me, eventually he has L killed, who was the main force and main person accusing Light of being Kira. With how complex this anime is, I'm not gonna be able to summarize it, but the point is Light's original intentions were to rid the world of criminals and then he started killing people that weren't criminals but that were going against him, which to him would be a criminal offense anyway. And by sheer miracle luck or like the universe saying stop, 
Lai ends up getting caught, ends up being proven that he is Kira, and is killed, I believe, I think. Never seen or heard from again. The other example that I have is trying to create a diverse group of characters. However, you are solely using what would be classified as harmful stereotypes for these characters. Or even trying to make a joke that is overall distasteful at best. For both examples, although your intentions may have been innocent or for entertainment purposes, the impact of your actions outweigh your original intentions, which is something that a lot of YouTubers don't understand, apparently. However, the main reason for me bringing this up is that it also works for folk magic and manifestations. Whatever higher power you believe in or don't believe in sees everything you're doing and notices everything you're doing. So even though you said exactly what you wanted in a way that would allow you to manifest it, your actions afterwards will be put to the test. And if they don't match what you set as your intentions, then Either you're going to end up getting exactly what your actions show that your intentions were or you're not going to see anything coming for you. Which is where you get the suggestions of manifesting it like you have it and a person with won't worry. Basically saying people that have the thing that you're trying to manifest usually are not worrying about it. And mindset matters in that, in that case. But even if you have set the intentions and you have changed your mindset to not worrying about the thing that you're manifesting, your actions can still keep you from getting the thing that you're manifesting. So within life in general, whether that be you doing anything that's on YouTube, maybe trying to make an apology or something to someone, or even manifesting. You can't say something and have your actions say a complete different thing. Because they would cancel each other out and it's either your actions are the things that manifest whatever into your life or you see nothing. You see absolutely nothing. But this is just something to keep in mind whenever you decide to do any type of folk magic, basically witchcraft, or just setting intentions and trying to manifest. With all of that being said, that is the end of today's video and now I will have to do the stereotypical YouTuber outro where I as a stereotypical YouTuber would ask you to do the following. If you liked the video, you can go ahead and press the like button. If you want to see more videos like this or anything else that happens to deal with the nature-based spiritual path that I personally call witchcraft or anything else that happens to deal with occultism, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of when I, whenever I post. Any type of questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for future videos can all be put in the comment section below. And with that being said, my name is Tokiko Uzuru, also known as Toki, and this is Toki saying Toki out.